Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. It's me, your friend uh, Paul, and you're my channel, Paul Knows. All right, guys, Aww. happy Halloween to everyone. And I know it's uh, like last day of the month, uh, 31st of November. Oh. No, it's not. 31st of October, sorry guys. So, today is Halloween day. A lot of people, I don't know um, if you allow your kids to go outside and do some trick-or-treats. But I don't think that's a good idea to do right now. Due, we, uh, due to the pandemic happening right now and everywhere. Okay, uh, actually I'm wearing my life, uh, my life of the, I guess it was just like, life of the party guys, look at that. Like my shirt. <laughs> it's the, uh, Frankenstein. Uh, I bought this one like a few months ago, but uh, yeah, why not, right? I don't have any party to attend to, so I just wear this kind of shirt in order to celebrate Halloween. Yeah, I'm so busy, so busy at work, so only this time I had a chance to video myself but do some videos. All right, guys, a few days ago, there's something, another, like, there's another history happening in the Philippines, and it's about beauty pageant, and I haven't, like, today we're gonna react about this one, but I was thinking, like, why not, right? Okay, guys, we're going to do a, a video reaction for the winner of, to the winner of Miss Universe Philippines 2020, uh, Rabia Mateo, and I haven't watched this one, so, so I want you guys to join me watching this video, and let's together react with it, right? I really like my, uh, Sweater, you like it, guys? <laughs> okay, all right, guys. This is Arabia Mateo for performance on the uh, Miss Universe Philippines 2020. I don't know why they call it like Miss Universe, where it's only just in the Philippines. Guys, can you comment down below why they call it like Miss Universe Philippines 2020? Um, I have no idea actually because all I know is being in the Philippines and they just choose uh, which lady or which girl is gonna join on a particular. Uh, competitions. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's watch this video. All right, guys. Let's hit it. Okay. I've always been fascinated of the Rabia elegance Mateo. of playing chess. My heart beats oh, for that Eureka moment when I finally figure out the right move. Smart. I am Rabia Mateo, and in my heart, I am an athlete. Rabia Oksanya Mateo, Ilu Ilu City. Now we have Miss Iloilo City, Miss uh, Rabia oh, Mateo. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I'm one step closer from having my That's first good. national crown. Well, you are actually. You are in the top 16. So let's mm. see how it goes with this wow. um, this comment here. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate That's about fast. educating people. I am a lecturer and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have that comfortable... Lecturer. Hold on guys, what do you mean by lecturer? Hold on guys, what do you mean by lecturer? Can you comment down below? Um, is she a teacher or something? And by the way, guys, she's from uh, she's from Iloilo, so uh, my my mother's side is from Iloilo, and my uh, my uh, father's side is from uh, a clan. So, but I don't know how to speak uh, Ilongo or both sides. <laughs> I only speak Tagalog and English. So yeah, let's go back to the video. It's just beautiful, actually. Let's see it, guys life that I and my family deserves and I want to push people I want to uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me and I know with Miss Universe anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heartfelt beauty thank you very much Miss Ula Ula City Rabia Mateo Uh oh. 
I think the red color is perfect for her. Wow. Now let's call on Ilo Ilo. Rabia Mateo. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening, Casey. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> For everybody, okay. <laughs> so I will ask you two questions. You're okay. able to choose a number back Is to stage. Is this just one show? You, uh, talk for 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask another question where we receive another 30 seconds. Okay. Clear? Yes. All right, here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, uh -oh. who would it be and why? If I were this given kind of the hard. chance, I want to she use to have the face well of Miriam Defensor Santiago. Oh. For those who don't know, she was an oh. Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, okay. her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Wow. Hold on, hold on, guys. I think what she said is kind of um, a smart, uh, smart answer, right? It's not the answer like everyone do that they have to rehearse or something. She really think about it of what she said, and like she's, you can you can feel the passion that she had. Like she do some research about it. Good answer, Rabia. Smart choice, like smart uh, answer. Just thinking about like answering that kind of question there's a lot of people that you might probably gonna be used to answer that questions probably the past presidents or, or, or actually most of the past presidents are in the paper money but any heroes IFWs or like any uh, celebrity famous celebrity or whoever who had the past uh, pass away or still living but she used the one who I think I know a little bit about um, Mir Miriam Defensor Santiago, so I think she used a smart answer and a difficult question. All right, guys, let's go back. I think she have another question. He have another question for her. Okay, let's see it. Okay. It's wow, time they for share for it. Question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? Whoa. As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Ilu Ilu City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Well said, yeah. Ilo Ilo. Good Rabia answer. Mateo. Oh, is this a top two now? Miss oh, wow. Ilo Ilo! Wow, did someone clap? <laughs> oh, she's okay. guys I think the video was like kind of fast right and I hear some uh, a noise background from not not including the video what I mean is not really a part of the video but overall she did well I think well anyway guys we haven't like we didn't see the uh, prim uh, preliminary <laughs> <laughs> the preliminary uh, portion of the uh, competition but I guess she's gorgeous smart and I 
think she had the uh, the passion to to really win the competition, and and I guess on this upcoming uh, Miss Universe competition, she probably have something to bring out just to win the uh, just to win the title. She's kind of unique. Every year in the competition, we always have personality of women joining the competition and are from from our country, from the Philippines, and we hope that they could bring home the crown. Especially from the previous uh, Miss Universe who, uh, what we call it, like making a lot of changes in the, um, who make a lot of changes and making it a high standard to be, uh, and to make, and make it high, a high standard for everyone who's joining the competition. Alright guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and uh, you can share it to everybody. And please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to update you on my new uploaded videos. Thank you for watching guys and happy Halloween again. See you in my next video. Bye.